Hello Year 11 and welcome. It is a tradition at Brown Hills at the end of term for yourselves, your form tutors and a special guest to head down to Lecture Theatre to celebrate and mark your time with us here at the school. Now of course this year we couldn't do that with you but we really couldn't let you leave without doing something special and unique because after all you are an absolute unique bunch. We came up with this idea instead so welcome to the first ever Year 11 Brown Hills Leavers Assembly for the class of 2020. I'm going to hand over to our first guest and of course that is Mrs Keenan. Hello there Year 11 or should I say the class of 2020 and what a memorable class you are going to be because I don't think that any of us will ever forget the year that we've had. Um, I really hope that you're all doing well at home and keeping safe and emotionally well because I know it has been quite a difficult time to get through and to think of the things that you haven't been able to do. So first of all let me just say that we do hope that in the near future we can have an event where you all come back to school and we get a chance to celebrate um, as a year group and you get a chance to say a proper goodbye to each other and to your school career. Um, that could be something at school or it could be some sort of event outside of school. We don't really know what that looks like at the moment because there's too many things still uncertain. What we are certain about though is that we really do want to have a proper goodbye for you because we feel that you've missed out on a few things um, this year and we'd like to try and make that up to you in some way or other. Can you believe that it's been five years that have gone so quickly since 2015 when you joined us as those little sprogs as we call you and you know the fear on your faces and the nerves and the anxiety and to watch you grow over the last four and a half years and develop into to young adults has been a real privilege um, and a real honour and very humbling at times to see what you've achieved and the obstacles that some of you have had to overcome um, in order to, to make those achievements. So, so let's just say that we're all very, very proud of you and whatever happens this summer, wherever your path takes you next, um, we will always remember you with great fondness um, as a year group that like to have a lot of fun um, but also we're very caring and very genuine about looking after each other and taking care of each other. It has been a hard few months for you um, but don't let that define you, don't let that spoil um, what you want to do in the future. Perhaps it's even given you a chance to reflect more on what you want to do with your life and you know what you want to do next and what's really important to you um, as an individual. I certainly know that myself and other staff have had that chance to reflect and to think about what's really important in life and it isn't money, it is people and friendships and relationships and you know it's very important going forward that you think about having very positive relationships with people and do your very best uh, whenever you can. I think one of the lessons from not being able to take your real exams has been that nothing's a rehearsal and that whatever you do in the future, give it 100% straight away. Um, don't wait for the second chance or the second time to do it. Give it everything the first time. We will be having um, an exam results day and we will be sending more information out. And so we will be seeing you, um, albeit spread out through the morning because of social distancing. And we look forward to that as well. And we know that you haven't taken the actual exam and we know that you know we've been able to send in um, centre grades, but we don't have any control over those once we've sent them in. Um, but we don't think that they'll hinder you. Um, we think that the colleges um, and other apprenticeship providers will be quite sympathetic to the process that's had to go on, and that hopefully you'll still be able to carry on with the, the path that you've chosen for, for the next stage of your education. Um, I'm just going to finish now and I, I'm just going to wish you well again and it's not goodbye, it's au revoir because we will be meeting again in the near future. Um, hopefully we'll have all had real haircuts by then instead of these lockdown haircuts um, 
But again, it's not all about those sorts of things. Um, it's about the people in our lives and that's what matters. And I'm very lucky to have had 120 odd, very lovely, fun, uh, interesting year 11s in the cohort of 2020 to keep me busy and uh, laughing and enjoying my job over the last five years. So thank you very much year 11 and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care and be safe. Next we're going to hear from your form tutors. Normally they share some very funny and very personal stories to your form and we've decided that we want to keep those special moments for when we see you in person and therefore this is just a goodbye for now and we will make sure that we celebrate again in the future. Now Mrs McGowan also thought that we should have a little quiz, guess the form tutor. So most form tutors have written three clues and you've got to try and guess who it is from those three clues. So for the form tutor, the first clue is that every Tuesday they would have a circle of trust and every Tuesday afternoon if you were not in the circle of trust then you could not speak. The second clue is that they looked and felt about two feet taller, sorry, shorter than the rest of the form and would easily get lost and sometimes I wouldn't even notice she was there because her form towered above her. And last but not least, this form tutor was once denied a quality street and when asked why she couldn't have one, the form member turned round and said he was trying to save her from getting fatter. Hopefully you've guessed who it is, because here they come. Hello Year 11, it is me. Um, welcome to my new classroom, it's in the caravan. Um, I've snuck out just to say a quick hello to you all. Um, it's quite right here in the house. Um, thank you to Miss Adams for giving me the opportunity to wish not only my form, but the whole of Year 11 um, the best summer to stay safe and to take care of yourselves. Um, I've had the pleasure of teaching, I think, all of you in Year 11 at some point. Um, let's remind ourselves that back in Year 7, I was some of your form tutor. Then I lost a few of you um, in terms of form, but gained you in science lessons throughout. And that will then lead me to my favourite form of all time. They've known this all year. I have bragged about you, I've bigged you up. I'm your biggest fan, 11RM. And if I had much longer, I'd probably burst into tears again. Um, but you have been the light of my day. You started my day off with a smile. You would cheer me up midday when I was teaching you biology. And then you'd send me on my merry way at the end of the day, knowing that you'd all done a great job of working really well. I need to thank you for winning all those prizes, for your attendance, because I do like a good old prize. And I do wish you from the bottom of my heart all the best in your future decisions and your courses. I know you'll do a great job. See, I'm already going already now. Um, and I really, I really do look forward to seeing you all in person and finding out how well um, you're getting on. So it's time for me to introduce the next form tutor. And this form tutor um, loves a good holiday, especially if it is somewhere cold. The next clue is you'd find this form tutor around the dining table around 7 p.m. Every, 7 p.m. every night and mobile phones are banned. And the last clue is that you'll have heard this teacher from anywhere in the school just by their laugh you will know who I'm talking about. So thank you to everybody, the Year 11 team and all you students. Thank you and goodbye. Hi everyone, I hope you managed to guess it was me. Um, I'm sorry we can't be meeting up in person today, but I hope everybody's safe and well, you've been taking good care of yourselves and of each other. If we were meeting up in the lecture theatre, you'll probably have found that my speech was quite long and maybe a bit emotional, but Mrs Adams has made me promise to keep it nice and short. So I was thinking about our form and over the year, and I think it's fair to say that we have had our ups and downs. One particularly challenging PSHE lesson springs to mind, but putting that aside, I can say genuinely that I've really missed each and every one of you during lockdown. 
Now, I really want to wish all of you, whether you're in my form or not, all of the best for the future. The places that you're going to next year for your courses, they're so varied. I think they're the most varied that we've ever had. And that's really down to all of the hard work that you've put in over your time at Brown Hills. Now, it's almost tea time at the Huskerson household, so I need to get myself off and get the table set for dinner. So I just want to wish all of you the absolute best look in the world. But before I go, I need to give you the clues for our next form tutor. So you will probably see this form tutor walking around school eating a pasta bake. This form tutor is always going to be asking you how much water you've drunk that day. And if you haven't guessed it already, this clue should give it to you. This form tutor can never be seen wearing joggers. Yes, you've guessed it. It's Mr. Reed. Okay, see you all soon. Bye. Hi, Year 11. Hope you're all all right. I'm guessing most of you managed to guess it was me from those clues. Uh, definitely my former banging on about the water. Um, I hope you quite like the outfit. I was told to make an effort and so I thought, what better than to put on my prom outfit. Hopefully, we will get to see you all at a prom or a celebration evening sometime soon. Um, for my form in particular, I'm just going to do a couple of thank yous, although I could thank all of you because you've been a great form over the time. Uh, but in particular, Jack and Damien for all of the information keeping me up to date on FIFA. Um, completing those SBCs from you two definitely helped my squad out quite a bit. Shame we never got to show you how much better I am than you. Um, I'd like to thank Ellie and Susie for coming to see me pretty much every day in the PE department at lunchtime. Um, those chats were quite nice, even if it was sometimes I was trying to get rid of you so I could get some work done at least. And then everyone else, you've been a great form. It's been a pleasure to have you and I really will miss you. I hope that everyone in year 11, I hope in September, whether you're going to college, sixth form apprenticeship, that you're all going to do really well when you stick out and try hard. I want you to make sure you're drinking plenty of water. I want you to make sure that you're exercising because as you get older, you will realise how important that all is. Hopefully, I will see you very soon. And for your next form tutor, it is someone that loves chocolate, has seen about 2,000 films and was once found sleepwalking as a child, talking to their front dad, front door, sorry, thinking it was their dad. Who do you think it is? Hi, Year 11. Mr Freeman here. Yes, those clues were about me. Um, so just wanted to say a big thank you to all. To you all. Um, I've taught most of you, uh, had uh, you in various different classes over the years, uh, a few in my form. And, um, you know, it's the first time I've ever worked at a school for five years. So you're the first year group who I've ever seen through from year seven to 11. So I just want to say a big well done to me, really, for, for managing to do that. Um, it's been a pleasure most of the time. Um, some of you are absolutely lovely. And I've had some really good chats with you and you've made me laugh. And like my form group, I've had some really excellent chats about um, what you've done at the weekend, which have usually lasts for a few seconds. But lots of really good football chat, um, which, you know, is a real passion of mine and you can you can understand why. And um, so just a, a really big thank you to all those who've made life a lot more interesting, a lot funnier, um, life a lot easier and a big good luck to you all. Um, so much talent, so much potential. And I think if you work hard, you will all be rewarded and you're going to be really successful. OK, so thank you very much, Year 11. Hopefully I'll see you um, at a celebration event and um, have a good summer. Toby, I hope you're having fantastic summer holidays and that you enjoy it even if you can't go abroad. I've really enjoyed teaching you English this year and being a Year 11 form tutor. Good luck next year. Now, the next form tutor you're going to see loves 1980s vintage fashion, only falls of horses, and has recently celebrated her 40th birthday in lockdown. Good luck. Hi, Year 11. Hope you're all well. I hope everybody's doing okay in lockdown and staying safe. Um, this is a really strange and new way for me to say goodbye to year 11. Um, I find it hard saying goodbye to year 11 in a normal circumstance, but because I can't actually see you, it seems harder. Um, I've really enjoyed having you as a form and 
you've all bought something different and special to the form because you're different characters. Um, so I've got done some awards. So the best ready to monitor award goes to Liam, obviously. And Liam, I know I still owe you chocolate. Um, the illegal belt wearer and makeup wearer award goes to Catherine. Um, best form argument award, myself and Owen. Uh, the secret trainer wearer award goes to Amy. And the not so secret trainer wearer award goes to Josh. Um, the expert mindful colourers award goes to Hummer, Chloe and Louise. Um, the seat movers award, Daniel, Luke and Beth. Hardest workers award goes to Stephanie and Caitlin. Uh, Pencil Crane Organiser Award goes to Georgia, Emily and Natalia. The Lovely Friends Award is next and that's Tom and Callum. Um, the I Didn't Realise You Had a Swimming Pool Award is the final award and that goes to Lewis. Um, I'll miss you all, um, whether it's drowning in your coats at the beginning of the day to shouting to you to listen in PSHE. I will miss you and I wish you all the very best of luck. Um, I just, before I go, I want to mention my art group. Um, you're all absolute superstars and you've all done so, so well. And I, I really hope you're as proud of your art achievements as I am. Um, special shout out has got to go to Susanna and Ellie. Um, one for finding my phone that day in the lecture theatre and ending my suffering and I will miss your pot noodles a lot. Um, I just wish you all the very, very best. Um, take care and good luck, guys. You're going to be superstars, all of you. Bye. Hi, Year 11. I hope you and your families are safe and well and coping with the challenges of these very unexpected and uncertain times. It certainly seems a very long time ago since I first met you in the food technology rooms in year seven. It really is a privilege as a teacher to watch students grow from year seven to when you prepare to leave in year 11. I'd like to say a big thank you to our form and echo Mrs. Drake's words for the students that won those very special awards. And particular thanks goes to Liam for bringing the register every Monday. Um, I'd like to just wish all of you the very best of luck as you embark on the next chapter of your life. Be bold with your aspirations, be strong in your commitment to life's challenges and be the very best person you can be. Good luck everybody. I'd now like to hand over to Mrs Adams back in the studio. As you can see we can't wait to see you in person. I know you're disappointed that you've not been able to show your talents on your terms, but your time will come. It's now time to focus on getting what you want in that bright future that's ahead of you. Take those skills that you developed this year. I've seen them develop, and one of my favourite moments when we were all together was at Christmas in our achievement assembly, when you were getting certificates for working so hard, not just in a couple of subjects, but six, seven and eight. And also I really enjoyed seeing your faces with the Premier League table where you knew you'd bested your scores from year 10. That's what's going to take you forward in the future. All of those skills from this year. And uh, the other thing I want you to do is grab any opportunity that's been put before you. It might seem a little scary, but it's taking those chances that can put you ahead of the rest. So keep being kind and supportive to your friends and family. Please stay safe, enjoy your summer, and from me, for the final time, Year 11, farewell, and I hope to see you soon.